of Thomas Gunnaman Matisse will be making his sixth appearance on this show. He'll be getting it on with a tough hombre named Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Well, if your name is Pitbull, there's a reasonably good chance you're probably going to be aggressive, probably not going to take a backward step, and probably not going to want to leave your fate in the hands of the judges. And that pretty much tells you everything you need to know about Isaac Cruz. He was raised in Mexico City, pretty much born to box. His brother Diego is a professional fighter. He's got a 19-8 and 2 record. His father, his two uncles were fighters, as was his grandfather, who owns a win over the great Hall of Famer Pipino Cuevas, as you pointed out at the open of this show, Steve. Unlike many fighters from Mexico, Cruz had as many as 85 amateur fights before he made his pro debut, but he made his pro debut at 16. He's described as a fan-friendly fighter. He just wants to drop bombs on you. The Mexico City Boxing Commission, in fact, voted him the prospect of the year back in 2016. So, Steve, go behind the numbers with Isaac Pitbull Cruz. And as Raul said to me, <laughs> You sound like a chihuahua bear. <laughs> I think I sound like a you tougher. Think, really? I think I sound like a tougher dog. You are. We start you with are. 20 already. <laughs> Enough from you two guys. Oh, sorry. Cruz only Talk. 21 years old, so it's not wrong to label him a prospect. But he turned pro at 16, as Barry said. He's already at 20 fights, so you could also label him a young, uh, label him a young veteran. Two in Brooklyn. Cruz's first 19 fights all in his native Mexico. But last time out on the Jamel Charlo Dennis Hogan card, he won at Barclays in Brooklyn. So he's been on the road at least once. And good sign. Cruz has a high KO percentage. His record tells us that whenever he's faced his most experienced opposition, like the veteran Mexican Jose Felix Jr., he's won by stopping. And the other half of this matchup, the sixth appearance for Thomas Gunnaman Matisse here on Showbox. He's a guy who always seems to surprise you, whether it's good or whether it's not so good. He's pretty blissful right now, though, isn't he? We first saw him in 2018. That was when he went into a fight with Rolando Chinea as an underdog, lost all the early rounds, and then he stopped Chinea in the seventh round. He then won a fight against Zora Hamazarian that everyone in the Western world thought he'd lost, except for two of the judges who were scoring the fight. In a rematch two months later, most of the thought he'd won the fight, only to have it ruled a draw. He followed that with a points loss to Will Madera in a fight that he was favored to win. And then, as a decided underdog to undefeated Michael Dutchover, that was in September of last year, he was highly competitive, and he scored a win while trending on all the cards once again after Dutchover could not continue after a bad cut. Matisse is best when he's fighting from the distance and utilizing his jab on the downside. He can be a slow starter, and he can be minimal with his offensive output. That he cannot do tonight. Steve, take us behind the numbers with Thomas Matisse. Well, Barry, with Matisse, it's not over. It's never over. Twice in his five showbox appearances, Matisse has pulled out a win when behind on the scorecard. You never know what you're going to get from him. No layups. Whatever you think of Matisse's progress as a prospect, he hasn't had any gimmies on showbox. This fight included combined record of his showbox opponents, 76, 3, and 4. And tick, tick, tick. Matisse, 29 years old, and he can't stay on showbox forever. Nor should he want to. Time running out for him to prove he can become even a fringe contender. All right, he says we're going to see a different Thomas Matisse than we've seen in the past. We'll see. What's left then is for us to get on with our main event of the evening, Thomas Matisse versus Isaac Cruz. Lightweight scheduled for 10 rounds. For the final time tonight, we go to the center of the ring. The introduction of the fighters in our main event here once again is Thomas Trident. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout. It is scheduled for 10 rounds in the lightweight division. Brought to you by GH3 Promotions and Kings Promotions in association with Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions and Showtime. It is sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. Commissioners at ringside, Chairman Rudy Battle, Commissioner Joel Frank, and Executive Director Greg Serb. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be David Braslow, Adam Frischa, and Steve Weisfeld. 
our referee in charge. Third man in the ring will be Eric Gali. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. Live from the 2300 Arena here in the great fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is our Showbox main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing to you first, Fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing blue with white and weighed in at 135 pounds. Coming to us from Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. He brings a professional record consisting of 18 wins. Just one defeat, one draw, with 14 of his 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Isaac Pitbull Cruz. And his opponent across the ring in this main event, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red with silver and weighed in at 133 and a half pounds. Hailing from Cleveland, Ohio, he has a professional record consisting of 15 wins. Just one defeat, one draw, with 11 of his 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Thomas Gunner. Everybody out except for the boxers in chief. Okay, gentlemen, you already know the rules. I want to remind you to keep it clean, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. This time, our main event of the evening, and uh, as you point out, Steve, there's no secret to how this fight is going to be fought. Matisse said he was going to show us something tonight. He's been a very slow starter. Yeah, he wouldn't tell us in the fighter meeting. No, meetings. no, he's very secretive. We look at the amateur experience. Cruz, it's, uh, 85 amateur fights, all in Mexico, not at the highest of international levels. And Matisse won the uh, bronze medal in the, in the 2014 Nationals in the USA. Pro experience, you see, fairly even. A little uppercut there is... Early on in this fight, Cruz able to just walk to Matisse. Yeah, he, close to distance, fairly quick. Oh, beautiful, beautiful body, body shots. shots. Yeah. Early, early in the fight. One thing Matisse felt was a big advantage for him, especially in comparison to other showbox fights, the size of the ring. Which is about a 20-foot ring, right? He's, he's going to use it. He knows he has to keep a distance. Body shot again. That's about five in this first round. Who said he always fights taller fighters? He said the bigger, the better. Yeah, he likes him bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said he's never fought an opponent as short as him in the pros. Short and, and compact for this weight. There's an over the top right hand from Cruz. Cruz gets in with a quick left. Cruz can be very, very wide with his punches. Stop! Let him up. Let him up. I still feel like Matisse is being too tentative. Look, that's his problem. He, he waits a lot in the first half of the fight, and he always turns it up in the second half of the fight. I, I would think the plan is to you know, turn it up early, start throwing more punches. Try to throw a right uppercut lead with his back to the ropes. Watch your head. Hey, oh, oh, oh. hey keep your head up, okay? You all right? And one thing Matisse is going to have to decide, if he keeps his elbows tucked and his arms low, he'll block a lot of his body shots, but he'll open himself up to a left hook to the right. chin. So pick your poison. And we talk about Cruz's size. He's a little guy. Good body work again by Cruz. He's a little guy, and even for a little guy, he fights small. Yeah, he gets down lower, and that makes it a lot more difficult for Matisse to catch him. 
You know, I used to hate fights. Stop, 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 stop. Not the same. I'd rather fight a, taller, a guy that's taller than me. Makes it easier. Well, that's exactly Preference. what Cruz told yeah. us. Yeah. Again, yeah. three more ah. shots to the bike. Those are hard shots. You sitting there. Don't sit there, man. Work off the jab. Work off the jab and the straight shots. Don't sit there and put the earmuffs on, man. When you when you stop, you gotta let your fucking hands go. Combination. All right, we had a chance to talk to Thomas Matisse about what he needs to do against Cruz. Here's what he told us. Straightforward fighter. So, you know, I ain't gotta look for him. He's gonna be right there for me. So, you know, use the stick. And counter, you know, counter off the jab. So ups off the jab, hooks, straight right hands, and just keep him turning. Keep the fight in the center of the ring. We shall, have a, we shall have a real simple night. Hands up and throw, throw that left hook to the liver. A lot of feints. A lot of feints. Round two of this ten-round fight. I didn't really think Matisse executed that game plan of his very well in the first round. We'll see what he does here. That was Cruz's dad talking to him in the corner. He fought Ivan Robinson right here in Let's Philly, as I mentioned at the top of the show. Which and we saw uh, Mighty Mouse earlier. I, Ivan is here. He is yeah, in the Ivan house. Is here. Great amateur, good pro, too. Had some, uh, had a war, right? A couple of wars with Arturo oh, Gatti. Oh, man, I was about those fights where they were real wars. Philly fighter. I mean... Yep. He's got a couple of his fights. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, easy. Here in Philadelphia. Oh. Again, Cruz fighting his fight battle. He's been first. They told Matisse in the corner, stop putting your earmuffs on you. I'm telling you, this. like I said at the beginning, his problem is he, he spends too much time covering up. That's where he lost the fight, but again, Cruz right on top of him. And he got to the three punches. Cruz is not only getting there, I mean, he's Stop. getting in close and he's scoring. Easy, easy. And from a scoring perspective, even if some of those shots are blocked or partially blocked by the elbows of Matisse, what are the judges supposed to think? Exactly. You know, they're going to they're reward those kind of punches. And, and even if, see, like, they saw they're not completely connected to the body. It's still damage. It's still wearing down Matisse. And he always keeps him thinking, you know, what, what's going to come next? Because he's very busy so far. Cruz is a busy guy in there. Cruz came over the top that time with the right hand. And that's exactly what you were talking about. Brings the guard down. And he comes over the top. Matisse gave us an interesting quote at the fighter meetings. He said, we were talking about Cruz throwing wide shots. He said, I'm not going to get hit by that crazy spit. Except he didn't say spit. Yeah, that's right. But he said, I'm not going to get hit by those shots. Are you kidding me? Well, he's getting hit by those shots, dude. <laughs> he's being very he's, successful. He's, he's had inside game, yeah. And I, I like to see him. You know, he swings wide. He swings wide, but he still doesn't get hit. Because he, 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 he throws two, three punches at a time. But I want to see him come up the middle now. I'm going to come up the middle. A lot of wide shots. There he's you are. There. There you go. <laughs> As advertised, some of you think he fought. <laughs> I thought I left out of the body by Matisse. He's almost like a little Mike Tyson. <laughs> he's really heavy handed. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's heavy handed. He is. Oh, both yeah, hands. Those body shots. Two uppercuts. Break! No, hold on, hold on. Watch it. Hey, hey, hey. Keep your head up. Again, an effective round for the pit bull. Man, you're making this shit harder than it gotta be, man. You're digging yourself in a fucking hole, bro. I need a bucket, see? You're digging yourself in a fucking hole, man. You gotta let your shit go. You leaning in. You, you, going in. you going in where he need to be. All you gotta do is let your shit go from the outside, man. Stop leaning in. All right, man, sit back. And shoot the shit from right there. And stop shooting one shot. Double jab, right hands, one, two, the combination, and turn. Catch him on the turn, catch him coming in. What are you doing a weak ass jab, man? You gotta get the killer instinct, man. I ain't never hurt my head. Man, fuck that shit, man. You, you, you. And this young man is only 17 years old, yet he's already 4 0 as a pro. That's Vito Mielnicki Jr., outstanding amateur, won a bunch of titles as he grew up. And now he's a six foot kid. Yeah, growing. The son of one of our promoters, Vito Sr., tonight. I 
saw Looking those uh, video on the amateurs, you know, being with my kids. And he, he was a small little kid. And all of a sudden, he just grew. And I told Vito, what did you feed this guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Vito's not a very big guy, but he said he was his mother's side of the family. Stay off his head. Stay off his head. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. Don't pull his head down, man. Don't pull his head down. I'm going to take a uh, guess at the uh, body punch connects through two rounds, Barry. Take a guess. I, I, I'm going to guess it's about seven or eight to one. Uh, 27 to three. So. Close. No surprise there that uh, Cruz would go mostly for the body. But he's always shown a good chin. He got dropped once in one of the Hamazarian fights, but yeah. he's shown a good chin on, uh, on Showbox. Break. Easy, 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 easy. They were really on Batista to stay at long range between rounds. No hold no hold Work the hand. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't know if it's by choice that he's no, not. It's probably more right. about what Cruz is doing. But, you know, yeah. Batista's, you know, I, I talked about him being a slow starter. and He's showing right now. He's not throwing up punches. They keep trying to motivate him. In the corner, you're digging yourself in a hole. And let me say something our partner always says. Breathing through his mouth. <laughs> This is just punches thrown yeah. out. And then connected, easy, you easy. see that Cruz with a huge edge already. But he's also been very busy because we still have half the third round to go, and he's already thrown 180 punches. Nice little combination there, right hand of the body, left hand of the head by Cruz. I love Cruz's uh, composure. You know, he's so focused in there. And no facial expression at all. None. Look, he keeps the same no face. Home, no home. Hey, Very you calm, and he, you know, but he he keeps putting that pressure, keeps turning it up. Him in the back of the head. A little bit better round for Matisse so far. Yeah, know, as I say that. Yeah, he's he got that right hand. You know what? Right right it's it's, it's already the third Work round. He, he's, he's already got Matisse more on the ropes and the corners, which Stop that's holding. the mistake Stop that Matisse holding. has always made at the beginning. But as long as Cruz keeps pounding the body that way, that was three body shots yeah. and a whistling right hand to the head. That's going to pay off in the second half of the fight. That, that was a bad right hand from Matisse. And for the first time, Cruz goes back. Something big is going to happen if they keep banging like this. Because Matisse feels he has Cruz hurt, Barry. I, I, think, he I, I yeah. think he did get his attention. I don't think there's any question about it. And all of a sudden, Matisse showing some offense here. Well, I said it to be, all he's got to do is let his punches go. He's got to throw punches. Working that jab. He knows how to work the range. He's got the, the height. A little bit of a wake-up call, uh, maybe, from Matisse. Ten seconds. Wow, that Watch happened suddenly, but that was a big turning point in this fight. Sure was. <laughs> Made it a much closer round, didn't it? Mira. Look, you stay standing, that, that's why he caught you. You're not listening to me. You got to throw the right. To the... He's measuring you. That guy's just measuring. He already caught you. Don't give him that opportunity, please. One, two, down the middle, then move. More intelligent in there. He's going to come out with everything right now. He's going to try to get you. Don't miss them shots. Was around three a turning point in this fight? It would look like it was a left hand to the body and then a right hand up top that hurt Cruz. But for a good 30 seconds, he stopped coming forward. He was legitimately stunned in round three. He was going backward. So now let's see what Matisse can do. Starts with a triple jab in the right hand, comes back with a triple jab. Well, if Matisse can slow down the forward progress of Cruz even a little bit, that would make a huge difference in this fight. Because suddenly Cruz will be at the range. Matisse needs him out. And that's what's happening right at the moment. They keep telling the crew in the corner, don't let him measure you with that stick. Stop. Box. They want body shots. They want more body shots. 
as a cruise never been down as a pro. And right now, at least Matisse is keeping the fight at long range where he needs to, and he's being first with the jab. Your card, Steve? Well, there are three very easy rounds to score. Yeah. Matisse hurt Cruz in the third. You have to give him that round, even if he got out punched in, in volume. So two rounds to one for Cruz. And Matisse on his way to a pretty good fourth round, it yeah. seems yes, to me. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Cruz does step in with one shot, but one only this time. And now Matisse is really measuring with the stick and, you know, catching him down the middle with his straight long shots while Cruz comes in too wide. Matisse moving, moving well. Throwing punches while he is moving. And that time Cruz backed off a little bit. Well, it might seem obvious to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Cruz has no choice on how to fight. And even yeah, he, if he's not landing, he's got to make Matisse use his legs so he can take advantage later in the fight. Stop, 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 stop. stop. You're right. Cruz only knows one way, and that's coming forward. Quick right hand from Matisse, and there's a left hand from Cruz. Now Cruz back to the right to the body and a right to the head. Takes the right hand from Matisse. Work your hands, Freak. Work your hands, Freak. Yeah, Matisse can't get go. lazy in here. Stop, 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 stop. 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 A left hand again from Cruz. He was a little stop. short with that. I don't stop. Well, the gripping story of high school football star Greg Kelly is controversial conviction and the quest for truth and justice are examined in a five-part Showtime documentary series, Outcry. A student, popular football player, evil child molester. We find the defendant guilty. I've never woken up in the morning and wondered, did we get the wrong guy? This trial was a sham. There's been an outcry. A lot of complaining. He's a great guy. He was absolutely guilty. They got it wrong. Initially, I was pretty convinced of his innocence. Now I wouldn't be surprised either way. This is round five of this 10 round fight, and it's been a pretty dramatic change since round three. And the numbers bear that out, Barry, because in the first uh, three rounds, Cruz averaged 75 punches per round. In round four, he only threw 56. It's a big difference. And Matisse, we talked about the fact that he's usually a slow starter. He started this one slow, too, but not only back in the fight, but kind of dictating the fight right now. Work your hands, work out of there, work out of there, work out of there. Work out of there. Swat the low, swat. Break! Step back, step back. And if you wonder, neither of these fighters has ever been 10. Cruz has been eight several times, as has Matisse. Uppercut slipped in by Cruz. Tie off his head. But the fight is where Matisse wants it, in the center of the ring. Yeah, you really can't judge who's controlling the fight by how much space there is between the, uh, the two fighters. Right. Every time Matisse extends that jab, look at that. Nice one, too. Yeah, he just moves. Just, seems like he's, all he's got to do is throw straight shots down the middle. Every now and then, maybe change an uppercut because who's just going to be there? He's going to run into every, anything he throws. But the, the straight shots from Matisse stop. Cruz on his track. You can tell every time he, he catches him. He's just missed the right hand. Something to look for as we approach the halfway mark of this fight. Will the pressure 
mount and take a toll long term on Matisse. Usually yeah. pressure fighters are more effective in the second half of the fight because they wear you down. It's gonna be interesting, I think. Now the battle is being waged right in the center of the ring. Yeah, Matisse getting the best of it. And Matisse smartly moving right yeah. as well as left. Yep, there's oh, a nice, nice uppercut. And a right hand behind it by Matisse. And Cruz just keeps on coming. Right back up against the ropes. Well, both fighters have had their moments in this round. Yeah. There's a body shot and an uppercut from Cruz. Cruz just misses as they step back. It's really turning into an interesting fight, very tactical fight. Very close round. We are at halftime of this scheduled 10 rounder. Jabs, you'd be shocked to see that Cruz actually has one more jab landed than Matisse. And power shots, Cruz, again, a lot of those power shots to the body, you see 36 to 12 edge for Cruz and body shots. How much of them were blocked? How much of them landed flush? So Cruz with a mathematical edge. I'm not so sure uh, that he's ahead in this fight. Actually, I have Matisse had three rounds to two. I gave the last round to Matisse, and I think he's, uh, I got him down by one point, but you know, he's really getting the flow of things. You know, he's using that range, using that jab, straight punches down the middle, angles, holds him in the inside, maybe goes to work sometimes on the inside. He's got to keep doing that. I gave Cruz that last round, and with no conviction, frankly. And for Cruz, he only fights one way. He's got to keep applying that pressure, push him back, put his combinations together, and try to hurt him. Barry, I won't argue with you. That was a very close round. It was, yeah. Because both guys did what they wanted to do in portions of the fight of the round. I got Cruz by one point. Imagine that, a close or controversial decision in a Thomas yeah. Matisse fight. Yeah. Imagine that. What a surprise. <laughs> you know what, the, in the end, they're gonna give the decision to Zora Hammerzer. <laughs> Stop! Come on, don't wrap him up like that. Stop. Stop swaddling. Stop swaddling. Corner of Cruz yelling the repita la. You don't need Raul to translate that. It means whatever you did, do it again. Yeah, yeah exactly. repeat it. Repeat it. That's exactly what it means. Stop. Cruz walked right, right into the right go. hand. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, Good job. Lead right, right hand. hand. There's a lead right, right hand. hand. Lead right hand takes a step back. Let's. Cruz fall in, he counters again with right hand, uppercut, angle. That, that's the problem right there, staying too much on the ropes. But now he holds him, you know, he holds him, walks him, walks him to the ropes. I mean, he, Matisse ha has the experience. I mean, he's fought a lot of guys with the uh, aggressiveness here with Zora. Amazon was an aggressive fighter. Chinea, that's where really he was good. losing, yeah. and then he caught him. Another aggressive fighter. Oh, Dutch over too. Dutch over. I don't know if it'll last, but I see a subtle change in this round. I think a little bit stronger round for Cruz. It's almost what's going to give out first, Cruz's will or Matisse's legs? I think that's exactly right. Or maybe they'll give out a little bit each and it'll be a very close fight all the I, way through. I don't see as much snap on Matisse's punches right now. Yeah, he's pushing his shots a little yeah. bit. Right, you know, it might be that that body attack that Cruz invested early in the fight that's paying off now in the second half of the fight. Round number six. And trust me, the more the fight goes, the more it's going to affect Matisse. But Cruz has to stick to him, stay on him. Two good left hands from Matisse. You see? Only one of those shots got there from Cruz. It was a left hand. 
Cruz throwing on both sides of the body, and it, it doesn't allow, not only does it hurt, to put good impact on Matisse, but it doesn't allow Matisse to, to move to the right or to the left. It keeps him there. There was a right oh. hand by Matisse and a left ah. hand by Cruz, and then a little headbutt just for good measure. Another close round, Steve. Yeah, I give it to Cruz. He already dropped his hand. Now, now we're going to do this left hand, one, two. Be very, be very focused. Don't, don't get confident. Left hand, left hand. All the left hands are going in there. Two left hands. And add to the body, both sides and up the middle. Take a deep breath. When you get close to him, you got to throw combinations. He's not going to be able to move you. A lot of leads to the to the body and to the head. Go to the body, and then when you get close to him, go to the top. Pretty motivated there in Cruz's corner. I'll see if their guy can execute it. Yesterday, Matisse said to us, I'm a young 29. Well, he's going to need young legs. Yeah, he is. To finish this fight the way he needs to finish it. You know, he's been, though, he's like a survivor. He, he always yeah. does enough. And Cruz, uh, oh, oh. he's very young. He's he got that baby face. Tw only 21 years yeah, old. Yeah. I think he looks younger. Stop. Come on, man. You got to stop holding on to him, man. Yeah, you can't wrap him up like that. Let's go, box. This is a close fight, guys. I think so, too. I have a dead even. I've got it one round for Cruz. I got Cruz by two rap, two, two points, two right. rounds. 58 to the six. But, you know, like you guys said, a lot of close rounds. And, of course, we know there's always drama <laughs> when Matisse fights. Of course. Uh, work your hands, work out Let's go. Every fight we had him, you know there's drama. Let's go. Right? Let's go. Yeah. Every, virtually every, every fight, fight right? Yeah. He either wins and they don't give it to him, or he loses. They don't. <laughs> there's both, or he has a draw, or, or he has to come from behind. Or he, he comes, comes from, from behind, behind in every fight. To... Nice uppercut that time by Cruz. Stop. It's been quite a while since we've seen Matisse stuck against the ropes in this fight. Yeah, he's keeping the fight in the center. Of the yeah, that, that even even when he takes shots, he doesn't stay on the ropes long. Comes off. That's important for him. Ooh, that was a left ahead and a hard right to the body. Super wide shot, but it landed. Yeah. You heard the sound. Yeah, fast and explosive. He had a right hand of the body. Cruz has been doing that pretty consistently. Let's go, let's go. Quick right hand by Matisse, but no damage. Cruz keeps coming. Left hand by uh -oh. Cruz staggered it. Now Cruz has him against the ropes. Cruz, three punch combination. Matisse trying to hold on. Cruz trying to extricate himself. Let's go, let's go. You want to see? He still got bad legs. Yeah, yeah that, I was about to say you want to look at Matisse's legs. That will tell you if he's hurt or not. How is his balance? I think he's still in trouble. With that left hook, you see Cruz looking for that left hook again. I still think his legs are not 100% back yet. Good right hand of the body. Backs Cruz into the, or rather Matisse into the ropes. Matisse Cruz should, says headbutt. Yeah, Matisse should just cover up and get out of this round. Because he, he lost the round, he's not going to win it. He lost the round big. Backing up again, final seconds. Cruz oh. with a big right hand, staring him again. And Matisse in big trouble at the bell. Make a case for 10 8. Bro, well, man. Yeah, you doing that because you ain't fucking letting your hands go, man. When you get back up, you get back on your get, get door. He coming wild, man. You can't fucking sit there. This ain't gonna work. You gotta keep moving. Keep moving, man. All right. Round seven, the most dominant round of the fight. Flush on the on the chin, that left hook, and you see Matisse's legs start to betray him. 
You know Cruz is going to follow up. There it is again. And there was, there was more. It wasn't just the one punch. Wow, look at that overhand right. Yeah, was Matisse saved by the bell? Oh, I think he, I think he clearly was. Let's see if Cruz jumps on him now this round. This is round eight. And Matisse starts out on his bike. The fact is, it's the eighth round. So Matisse, even though he may still be feeling the effects of those punches in the last round, can really not afford to give away rounds. I was just thinking that, Barry. Uh, on the cards going into that last round, there's a close fight. You don't want to give away rounds. You can't afford to. Barry, you mentioned, was it a, possibly a 10-8 round? You can make the argument. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a 10-8 round myself. I didn't score it that way, but you, you can make that argument. I didn't score it that way either. That was a left-handed drove Matisse back into the ropes okay. again. I got it. I got it. It wasn't stop, a particularly stop, hard stop. shot. Let go. I'm still not sure Matisse's legs were all the way back. Yeah, I agree. It, it Good body time. shots again. There's a right hand, oh. sharp right hand. Every time Cruz hits him, he, he keeps stumbling. He's not recuperating. I don't think he's recuperating from that last round. Maybe. I'm not sure he has. Yeah. And what makes Cruz tough to fight, you don't know if he's going to lead with a hook to the head, hook to the body, right hand to the head, or right hand to the body. Yeah. You know he's probably not going to lead with a jab, though. <laughs> To the uppercuts. Good job by Eric Dolly in this fight, staying away from the action, letting them fight. I agree. A hard left hand to the head and a right hand to the body. Three punches to the head. And a right hand from Matisse. A little blood from the nose of Matisse, three jabs. Good body shot again and an uppercut missed. Work your hands, Cruz. Let it go. Work on it. Left to the body, left to the head, right up the middle. Cruz has kept a lot of the momentum that he established last round. This is his round so far. Good shot from Matisse. And an overhand right from Cruz. Does Matisse need to land something big? Might very well have to. Matisse takes a big step back, draws a huge breath. Yeah, I agree. I think Matisse needs to land something big. He can't get that respect from Cruz. Look at that. Two body shots, two uppercuts. It's not stopped. Can't stop him from coming in. Well, if the movement isn't there, Matisse has to land something to quell the uh, forward progress and aggressiveness of Cruz. Cruz Not still throwing hard punches. A lot of blood from the nose now for Tease. Just missed at the bell. Look, I got you, bro. I got you. Back in the fight, man. You got to keep moving, all right? You got to keep moving. But you got to let your hands go, man. You got to keep moving. Yo, throw some off of this. You took it for one shot. Stop looking for one shot. When you go in and go for the kill, you got to go in behind both shots, all right? Both shots. Round eight. Both hands, man. Another good round for Isaac Cruz. Not much variation. You know he's just going to be throwing punches. And if you see Matisse not moving his feet, not moving, using his legs, well, that just opens. That's an open invitation for Cruz to do what he does. And he's done it from the open bell. No, no le des, no le des oportunidad de pensar. Don't let him think. Don't let him think. And that you got to keep throwing punches. That's what they told him in the corner. Well, I, I think Matisse is tired. I, I, I don't think Cruz is. That's a real bottom line, I think. Total connect over the last three rounds, 71 to 19. Keep your head up. Let's go, That's domination. I would say. And he, you know, Cruz did say he trained in high altitude in Mexico City, not. I know they me, but in some other area that's even higher. I was going to say. Ed Morales used to train even higher. I believe like 10,000 10, feet. Yeah. 10,000 feet. Feet been training. Yeah. yeah. What? So no, that's no, no, no. easy. You guys got to help in. Watch his, your heads. Watch your heads. Uh, his confidence, that, especially in round number nine. Look at it. It's like the first round. He might be even throwing more punches than the first round. Yeah, he's in great shape. 
Look at it. And when you throw every punch with everything on it, a lot of times you'll get tired. Yeah. He, he's just not doing that. He does set down well on his punches. Well, neither of these fighters have ever been past eight rounds. And the pace has been pretty fast. But it would seem right now that if Cruz can maintain what he's done the last three rounds, obviously he's going to be uh, winning this fight on points. Still the strong of the two. I don't think there's any question about that. I, I still question Matisse's legs. Stay up his head. There you go. And that doesn't only really have an effect on the defensive end. Obviously, it has an effect on the offensive end, too. Good. Punches thrown. Cruz with an edge. Punches landed. Cruz with a big edge. More than two to one. Watch your head. Okay? Keep your head up, all right? You okay? Go. Bye. You know, given that Cruz walks to Matisse, you'd think Matisse would land a higher percentage of his power shots, but he hasn't. Easy, easy. Well, we made the point earlier. It's not always easy to hit a short fighter. Caught him there, but not. He can't move him. It, it, it's hard to break uh, Cruz's will, you know. That, he, he's a hungry kid, you he know. Just, he he knows about this opportunity. He's hungry. He just dodged about four punches from Matisse. That was two jabs in the right hand from Matisse. Stop! Stop. Stop. I got you. Step back. Box. A little bit of a better round for Matisse here. Work your hands free. Let him go. Let him go. Work out of that. Work your hands free. It has been a decent comeback round, but did he do enough to win it? I don't know. Close round. There's a left hand from Cruz. Maybe not so close anymore. <laughs> Ten seconds, Diaz Segundo. Still a close round, I think. Bro. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up, let me school the school back. All right, bro. Run. You running it. But I need you to send a straight shot. The final that he has all this, because because he is permitting the distance. For that, you give him too much distance. Don't give him up. Let's close it. Let's close this good. One, two, three, and count it. Don't fire the bitch. And fire it again. Then touch him underneath. But you just throw one fucking shot, man. Punch it, keep on punching, man. Head, chin, everything, man. Tenth to final round. See what Thomas Matisse has left. I think he needs a lot. Well, if, if Cruz is nothing else, he's consistent, that's for sure. He is very Throwing almost 70 punches around, but well above the uh, division average. Now we have to say, Thomas Matisse is not beyond closing the deal when he's been behind and late in a fight. Basically, whatever you expect from Matisse, you're going to get something else. Yeah, yeah, forget it. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Not sure the goods are there this time. Pick them up, pick them up. Well, it's been a fast-paced fight. It's understandable that both fighters would be tired at yeah. this point. Cruz is looking to draw Matisse in. Good right hand from Matisse. Combination from Matisse and then a right hand and another good right hand from Matisse. A little left hand that caught Cruz, and he kind of stumbled a little bit there. Oh, could he do it again? Man, yeah, Matisse is out of a good last round. Yes, he is. Good right hand again. Look at him. He's getting oh, it out. Oh, oh, oh. He's, he's really watch it, watch it, watch it. going toe to toe now with Cruz. A little burst of energy here. 
Snapping that jab out. Work your hands, let him go. Slipping an uppercut in close quarters. Well, he's fighting like he has nothing to lose, which at this point he doesn't. That's he might true. as well leave it all out there. That's true. Cruz comes to the left of the body and right over the top to the head. Hey, hey, pick him up. Say what you want about Matisse. He's always shown hard on Showbox. Yes, yes. Yeah, big heart. Another straight right hand from Matisse. <laughs> And once again, we get something we weren't expecting from Matisse. He looked like the more tired fighter. And then in the last round, he comes on, and in the first minute of this round, he landed a lot of clean shots. I think he's winning the round. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Still. Can I get him a draw? That's the question. I don't, I don't think the I don't win think. is within his reach. I don't either, but we've been fooled before. <laughs> I never know. And particularly in Thomas Matisse fights. He is having a heck of a round. Pushing it out here. Maybe he needed more rounds. I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, that's it. Big last round from Matisse. Will it be enough? Yeah, I have Cruz six rounds to four, 96 94. I got it just like that. That's yeah, where I am. Yeah, Cruz. We might have scored different rounds, but. That we thought that they won, but we got 96 out of here. Yeah, me too, and I think we did get there the, in different ways. The Pitbull. I watch him any day of the week, man. He's fun to watch. Oh, he is, absolutely. And you do, you, you got to give it up for Thomas Matisse. I mean, yeah. he's always in battles. Well, round one and round two and round three and up to round ten are going to look similar to Cruz, although early in the fight. You see, he was a little more forceful with his punches. He did slow down a little bit. Good body work, laid the groundwork. Nonetheless, Matisse landed his share of shots. I gave him rounds three and four to make it even after four rounds. But relentless, and how much psychological and mental pressure is there when you fight a guy like Cruz? You know he's just going to keep coming. And I think it was the middle rounds, these that you're looking at right now, that were the difference in the fight. Right hand wobbled Matisse there, and that the bell rang, rang just in time for Matisse. In round nine, more of the same from Cruz. He clearly won that round, landed flush shots, but. As is typical Matisse, he gives us something not expected. Comes on and has a great first minute of the 10th round. And on our cards, at least he won that 10th round. Who knows, he scored one round different. Maybe it's a draw. Well, that's it, here's the final number, Steve. Yeah, the jabs, again, uh, Matisse not as effective with his jab as he would have liked. Landed only 8%. And Cruz, because of those body shots, had a clear edge and power punches landed. So the numbers say Cruz. All right, let's see what the judges say. Their numbers are even more important. Here again, Thomas Triver. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge David Braslow scores it 95 to 95, even a draw. And both judges, Adam Frischa and Steve Weisfeld, score it the same, 96 to 94, both in favor of your winner by majority decision. Isaac Pitbull Cruz.